I will be showing you how to install the Facebook Pixel either using the manual method or you using the partner integration method. So sit back and let me guide you through the process of installing Facebook Pixel on your website either using the manual method or using the user application method. Welcome to George Digitals. My name is George and I will be guiding you through the process of installing the Facebook Meta Pixel on your WordPress website. Let's dive in. So let's head over to my Facebook account so that I can guide you on how to do it step by step. So watch this video to the end so that you don't miss any part. So once you head over to your Facebook, the next thing you want to do is to click on this place you see Meta Suit. So once you go over to your Meta Suit, the next is to click on this place you see Settings. So once you click on Settings, now the first step is for us to create the Meta Pixel and also link it to our WordPress website. So I'll be showing you how to use the manual method. After showing you how to use the manual method, then I'll also show you how to use the partner integration method still on WordPress website. So what you need to do, once you click that, come over to this place you see data source, click on it. So once you click on data source, come to this place you see data sex. I know somebody will be saying, why didn't you use the pixel? Facebook recently did an update. Once you come to pixel, if you notice, they they have moved everything. If you notice, they said we have made some changes to our platform and they have moved to uh, all the pixels to this place you see view data set. So it means if I scroll down and I come to this data set, that's where I will see all the data sets or the pixels I have. So what do I need to do first is to cl click on this place you see add so that I can create a new pixel. Just click here you see add. Now once you click on add, you have to give your pixel a name. So let's say I give my pixel a name. So once I click on this, I click on this place you see create. So once I click on create, if you notice, you are not seeing it. It just said data set added at the, the bottom. But if you notice, you are not seeing the data set here. So what you need to do is to refresh this page. So once you refresh the page, you see, you see the name here, hot pixel. Now let's now go to connecting this. So just click on this place you see connect assets. Select one of your business assets which is this. Then click on add. And the reason why we are doing this is so that when you want to run Facebook ads, you can easily pick this as a pixel for you to use on this your Facebook ad account. Just click on done. So once you, you, you clicked on done, the next thing you need to do is to click on this three dots you're seeing here. Once you click on it, it will tell you to open in Events Manager and open in Event Manager, which is this. So if you scroll down, there are several ways you can use in linking this pixel to your website. It's either you want to link it using the conversion API to your server, or you want to link it directly to your website browser, or you want to share the data from a mobile app and we don't have a mobile app here we just want to link it to our website or you want to share it using a csv uh, file so what we just need to do is to come here where you see gather event or website event from browser activity so just click on setup pixel now these are the two methods we can use in connecting them whether we are using the manual method or we are using the partner integration method now for the manual method let's just go with that route then later on i'll show you how to uh, install a code using the partner integration method now just click on this place you see code manually and once you click on that it will take you to this page where you click on copy code so once you click on copy code it will tell you to paste the code on your website so what you just need to do once you copy this code you go to your WordPress website, you log into your WordPress website. If you're gaining value from this tutorial, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to George Digitals for more WordPress tips, digital marketing strategies, and tech insights. So once you log into your WordPress website and you brought to your dashboard, just scroll down, look for where you see plugins, click on add new plugins, search here, so search for insert header and footer, the first one you see here, just click on install now, then click on activate, put your mouse on code snippet here, which is this one you've seen, then click on header and footer, once you click on header and footer, paste the code you just copied, and once you paste the code you just copied, at the top just click on save changes, so once you click on save changes, 
you have added the snippet here then what you need to do is to go back to your event manager click on continue click on turn on automatic advanced matching click on continue then once you click on continue click this place to go to pixel overview so once you go to pixel overview the next thing you want to do is to come here test event now once you click on test event click on this place you see confirm your website event and paste your website url here then i'll click on open website so once i click on open website i'll go back here if you notice it says receiving activity it has just changed there you see processed so once it has processed and it has received the activity from my website the next thing i want to do is i want to set up the uh, event tracking so that i can now pick what kind of conversion i want to track whether leads or purchase or any of the uh, following kind of events so what i'll do is i'll go to this place you see settings once i go to settings i'll scroll down once i scroll down to the place where i get event setup at the bottom i just click here open event setup tool then i also paste my website url so once i paste my website url i'll click on open website so once i click on open website if you notice it comes with this facebook uh, tracking event stop on this page so once it comes with that what i need to do i need to select either i want to track a button or i want to track a url now if you click on track a button it means you have the access to select any of the button here which somebody clicks then it will now be an event that will be recorded on your website now let's say i click on this book now here this one so once i click on it the next thing is to click on this event then I add what I want it to be. Now this book number button, I want it to be for lead. So if I click on lead, now once I click on lead, it will show me to pick a value. Now let me explain what happens. Now if I pick a value, let's say I choose a value. And the reason why they are telling me to choose a value is, let's say this is not a book now button. Let's say it is for buying or maybe add to cart or for purchasing or checking out. So I can now click on that and put a value but because i am not doing that i'm not selling anything it's just a lead i want to use it for i'll just click on don't include value and click on confirm so once i click on confirm if you notice it has picked this button it has clicked on it so once it has clicked on that i will just click on this place at the top finish setup then once i click on finish setup i'll just click on finish then i'll just click on yes i'm happy then i'll just click on submit so i click on done then once i click on done i come back here if i go back to the overview again and i reload the page you notice it is showing me the event you notice this is it seven then if you scroll down you see so once you come to your overview you see that there this took up to 30 minutes before it appeared that is how to link your wordpress website using the manual method so let me show you how to use the other kind of method which is using the partner integration method on your website so what you need to do if you want to use the partner integration method grab this your id here so once you copy it now go back to your wordpress dashboard so once you go to your wordpress dashboard come over to the place you see code so you can either use of the any of the method so just come to these plugins so once you come to plugins come to click on add new at the top add new plugin then search for facebook pixel so once once you search for facebook pixel scroll down and see this one you see pixel your site click on install now so once you click on install now click on activate then scroll down to your left hand side you see pixel your site click on it so once you click on it click on this place you see click for pixel settings here then make sure you turn this on these two turn them on then scroll down paste the pixel so once you paste the pixel go back to your event manager once you go back to your event manager go to settings so once you go to settings scroll down once you scroll down there's a place where you see 
conversion API. Once you go scroll down to that place, the next thing you want to do is to generate access token. Click on it. Once you click on it, once you generate the token, click on this, copy it. So once you copy it, go back here, paste it here. So once you paste it there, scroll down inside your WordPress website. Once you paste it inside your WordPress website, click on save settings. Once you click on save settings, you can go back here. In this place you see, open event setup, click on it. Then put your website URL, click on open event. So you can use it to also track some other things. Let's say I want to track once somebody comes to my website. You notice it has come with this tracking store. So let's say I want to track a URL, maybe. So once I click on track a URL, I can now come here. I can also say this is the URL I want to track. Okay, what event do I want to track? I want to track lead. I'll click on track lead and I'll say don't include value since it's a lead and I click on confirm. If you notice it has selected this, then I'll click on finish setup and I'll click on finish. I'll skip this and that's, that's it. So as soon as somebody comes into my website, let's say somebody comes to this place, you see fashion, and I go to this place, you see text event. If you notice, it will tell me that somebody has entered my website. And if you notice what is showing me here, if you notice, it's not showing me manual setup, it is showing me, this is just now, and you take note of the time. You see, it say event setup too. So I use an event setup tool, which is a partner integration tool. So that is how you can use either of the method to create or track events using MetaPixel on your website. So I don't know any of the methods you feel like using. Just let me know which of the method you like using below on the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. This is George Digitals. See you in the next video where I will show you how to use AI to create a digital marketing agency website completely for free, getting a free hosting and domain. Have a nice day. Bye.